the Biden administration on Tuesday authorized changes to how the Genio's monkeypox vaccine is administered so healthcare workers can obtain more shots from a single vial, as federal and local officials combat rising monkeypox cases and limited vaccine supplies. As of last Monday, the U. S. had 8, 934 confirmed cases of monkeypox and orthopox virus, the class of viruses that monkeypox belongs to, across every state except Wyoming, according to the Centers for Disease Control. That's a jump of more than 1,000 cases from the week prior. The White House declared monkeypox a public health emergency last week in an effort to streamline resources to tackle the outbreak. The Biden administration has shipped more than 602,000 monkeypox vaccines to date and has about 1.1 million available, though that's only one-third of the amount needed for the estimated population at highest risk in the current global outbreak, men who have sex with men, and in particular, those. The U.S. is reliant on a small Danish biotechnology company, Bavarian Nordic, for the Genios 2 dose regimen vaccine, the only shot approved by the FDA for monkeypox. The Biden administration has faced a backlash for taking too long to place orders from the company as the outbreak emerged and for letting its strategic national stockpile of the Genios vaccines dwindle. As a result, local jurisdictions have taken matters into their own hands, declaring public health emergencies and delaying the second dose of the vaccine to ensure more people can access the first shot as supplies are stretched thin. Some 150,000 doses of Genios are set to be released from the strategic national stockpile in September, health officials said last week. After that, more vaccines aren't expected until October, according to reports. U.S. moves to stretch out monkeypox vaccine supply, New York Times limited monkeypox vaccine supply would be stretched under FDA plan, Washington Post monkeypox vaccines, here's how many have been shipped and whereas White House declares public health emergency, Forbes, 